Hey, tiny people living within the confines of my computer. I have a problem. I have a venom problem. So for those who don't know and aren't caught up on it, I've been writing for a group of movies that are based on Spider-Man. Um, they're kind of just me writing to write because I love the character. And I got through the first three. They're all written down. I just need the time to record the, the, the pitch, uh, if you will. And I got through that, and it was easy. I got through the first three. Everything worked. The actors all fit in my head. What each character did, how each character ended the trilogy. Like, it all made sense to me. And I started the, the second trilogy, and I introduced the symbiote, and it worked. Got through the first movie. Cool. Got to the fifth one. Figured out how to get it off of Peter. Cool. Cool. But I can't figure out Venom. I, I can't. There, there's something there, but I can't find it. I have it to where, it's in the writing, it the symbiote leaves Peter. And I, I, I use a lot of the addiction allegory for the symbiote. And I can't figure out how to write for Venom. And at first I thought it was a me problem, but then I thought about it. Sam Raimi is an amazing and masterful uh, cinema, cinema guy, and he couldn't write for Venom. And he didn't understand what Venom should be and how to use it. And then I thought about it more. Tom Hardy's Venom is barely Venom. It's just a symbiote. And there's Eddie Brock there. There's not a whole lot of Spider-Man. There's not a lot of villainy. It's just, he's there. And then I thought about it more. And in almost every animated series that pertains to Spider-Man, Venom becomes a good guy. The only ones I can think of where he doesn't are Spectacular Spider-Man and the 1990s Spider-Man. And every other version of Venom that I can think of becomes a good guy. And in those, the reason he doesn't become a good guy is because, well, in the 90s one, he doesn't become a good guy because they just didn't do that. Not that, like, in the 90s, people didn't do from good to bad, but, like, in that series, they just didn't do it. They just didn't have any, like, good guys come good, uh, good guys go bad or bad guys come good. And then, in Spectacular... I would assume they weren't going to because I it just didn't make any sense if they were, but like that show got canceled. Uh, so did the '90s Spider-Man actually, but like every Spider-Man thing I can think of, Venom either dies, like in Spider-Man Three, becomes a good guy, like in Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2017, uh, all sorts of comic books. Venom and Let There Be Carnage. And it hit me, maybe I'm not the problem. Because I'm trying to write Venom as a villain in this movie. And I can't figure it out. Because I've come up with scenes of how to introduce him, how to, how to make him a, a, a menace, how to make him like genuinely terrifying to the audience, to the characters, how he can ruin Peter Parker's life from the inside and the out, and for some reason I can't come up with a solid way to end it. I can't come up with a way of getting rid of Venom in a way that would end a movie. Because a lot of times in Spider-Man media, the villain gets locked up, or they, they either get locked up, or they die, or they just run away. And I don't, I can't think of a way to have Peter Parker kill Venom. I'm not doing like a big connected universe with a thousand other Marvel characters. I've only got like a couple, I've only got little bits here and there of people helping. So like, it's nobody, like Punisher's not gonna come kill him, you know what I'm saying? And I can't think of like a good way to write him off without killing him or making him a good guy. I don't want him to be a good guy, period. I, I just don't want that. I love Venom, but I love Venom as this terrifying menace that destroys Peter's life. I don't like him as 
Spider-Man 2 Electric Boogaloo, but taller. And that doesn't mean every Venom needs to be a good guy. There's, there's, uh, it doesn't need to be a bad guy. Like, there's good Venoms out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, Agent Venom's fun, but I'm not trying to write Flash Thompson as Agent Venom, and I don't want Eddie Brock to be Agent Venom. I'm also not writing it where, like, there's gonna be this big anti-Venom thing in the next movie, or duh, duh, duh. It just doesn't make sense for that to happen. Not, not in my eyes, not in how I'm looking at it. So I can't... I can't figure out how to handle it. I can't figure out what to do with Venom. I don't know how to write him out of the storyline. Because him becoming a good guy isn't something I want, period. Like, as as the guy who's writing and directing and all that, like, I... Because this is fantasy booking, I'm in charge. I don't want that. I don't want Venom to be a good guy. I wouldn't hate him coming... I want him to still be alive, though. I don't want to kill him off. I don't want to do a Spider-Man 3 bomb thing. I don't want to send him off to space. I, I want him to... I want him to be in the storyline going forward. And I can't figure it out. And I'm stuck... Because there's a part of my brain going, oh, do the old school Spider-Man thing and have him get locked up and be in prison because Eddie Brock in prison. Like, there's the famous visuals of him, like, doing pull-ups in prison. There's the famous stuff of him in, like, the the prison garb. There's the famous stuff of him meeting Cletus and then that leading to Carnage. And then that's a storyline you can go down. And there, there's a lot. There is. There's a lot. But, like... My brain doesn't wrap around that because I don't think I want to do Absolute Carnage as a movie. I feel like doing a trilogy of movies about the symbiote, the first about Kraven, the second about Scorpion, and the last one about Venom, and then you block it off, I feel like I don't need an Absolute Carnage. Like, I don't think I need Venom and Peter fighting Carnage or fighting each other then Carnage shows up and double tan. Like, I don't think I want to do a Carnage storyline. If I change my mind and do one in the future, cool. I don't have an issue with it because I like Carnage as a character and I love Venom. But, like, in my head, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I don't know what to do with Venom and I'm stuck. I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know what to do with this character. Because I don't want him to just go... I don't want him to just disappear and then come back and be best friends with Peter. It makes no fucking sense. Especially with the stuff I have him do and the way I have him fuck with Peter's life. I, I do not want him to to do that. It makes no sense in the... It, it just doesn't make sense in the storyline that I'm writing. And I'm lost. And I can't figure it out. And I, I keep... Go. I keep. Where's my phone? I keep looking at other people's ideas on Reddit. I keep going in and and reading like comics and stuff. And I'm going and I'm looking at a uh, spectacular Spider-Man, '90 Spider-Man. I was looking at the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man show from 2012. Even though I don't like it, I was looking at the 2017 Spider-Man show. I looked at some of the stuff about Venom and Let There Be Carnage. I like both of those uh, those movies. Um, I was looking at stuff about the OG Let There Be Car- uh, um, Absolute Carnage. I think it's Absolute Carnage. The storylines, and then there was that game. And I'm looking at stuff, and I, I can't figure out what to do with this character. And I feel like having a symbiote story, which is what I've written the second... The first trilogy is more of a goblin-centric, like, Osborne stuff. The second one has been symbiote. And building up with Osborne and Oscorp, and then ending with Goblin is great. Building up the symbiote, you, I feel like you have to end with Venom. It's like, here's a movie of how he gets the symbiote, and then how he uses it, and f- abuses it, and, and gets addicted, and then has to get rid of it. And then after that, it's just, it's gone. There's a new villain. That makes no fucking sense. You, you have to, you have to, like, the whole point of Venom in, in my head is, like, it's Peter, if he didn't have the morals. That's why I want him to be a bad guy. That's why I don't want him to be buddy-buddy. Because Peter gets it and attaches all his negative stuff to it and his powers to it and it becomes an addiction and it's this harmful thing. He gets rid of it. And then it comes back to haunt him as a physical, like, person. And I think that's beautiful. 
Like, it's so simple, but, like, it's beautiful. And I can't figure out what the fuck to do. I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more research. I This could take me two minutes. It could take me an hour. I don't know how long I'll be. I'll, I'll be back. This is insane. The, the moment I open uh, Reddit, I go to r slash Spider-Man, and I don't look up anything. I'm just scrolling through the first, like, couple things. 42 minutes ago, from user 2, the word, T-W-O, K-Law, L-A-W, uh, L-L, uh, does anyone else feel like people have forgotten how to write Venom? It just feels like, to me, they keep treating Venom like a discount carnage. Like between Spider-Man PS5, the live-action movies, they just treat him like he's a big evil goo monster. I didn't even realize till someone pointed it out to me, but Venom doesn't even web-swing very much anymore. I always took Venom as sort of a dark reflection of Spider-Man. What was I saying a second? He's a dark reflection? Okay. Uh, he's what Spider-Man could be if he didn't hold himself back. That's why Spidey was the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, while Venom is the lethal protector. It must it just feels to me like recent writers have been putting a lot more focus on Venom as an alien goo monster rather than his rather than his ties to Spider-Man. Hell, in the movies he doesn't even have ties to Spider-Man. Maybe it's because I grew up with the animated series and that just gave me a different expectation. What do y'all think? Am I crazy or or are writers just handling Venom differently? The very first thing I see is somebody else talking about the fact that they don't understand how to, people don't know how to fucking write the characters. So, so I was right. It's not just me. Fucking people who get paid to do it can't do it correctly. It's fucking infuriating. Because I love Venom. He means the fucking world to me. But, like, I can't... I, like, can't figure out what the fuck to, to do. You know? Like, I don't know... I don't know... It's confusing. It's very confusing. I don't know. I'm gonna pause this again and look stuff up. I'll come back. Okay, the only other thing I could find was people talking crap about the PS2 Venom, which I don't dislike. I actually really like, not PS2, um, Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. I actually really like that Venom. I love Harry's Venom. I don't always think it has to be Eddie Brock. I also don't think Venom always has to make perfect sense in this in this in the sense of like oh peter man uh i love i don't i don't like harry being agent venom for a minute i didn't like that but it it ties into the story well and i can't like i can't complain about it too much however um something i want to point out about that that i i really like is um number one uncle terry god Bless that man's soul for being the best voice of Venom ever. So fucking good. But uh, I want to point out, in Spider-Man PS PS5, um, when Harry has the suit to begin with, before Peter has it, it it boosts his feelings, but it never makes him do anything wrong. Like he fucks up, but it's him fucking up. Like the stuff with a. Uh, Tombstone. Uh, I think it's Tombstone, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's Tombstone. Um, but, like, it, it never pushes his negativity until uh, Peter gets... Spoilers! Spoiler alert for Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. Uh, Peter gets stabbed and dies. Harry freaks the fuck out, and the symbiote pushes however he feels, so whenever... He is feeling happy earlier in the ser in the movie, not movie, uh, game. It pushes his happiness and makes him super confident and enthusiastic. When he gets mad at this moment, it pushes his anger. And then when the symbiote gets on to Peter, the first feeling it gives him is that anger. And then Peter has all this anger and frustration built up, and that builds to Venom becoming this terrifying creature instead of somebody who just wants to help. Because whenever it get attaches to Harry again, it has Peter's anger, his... Remorse. All of his mistakes are stuck in there. It has all of that built-up hatred towards people that he's keeping hidden because he doesn't want to hurt people. And just lets it go. And that's sick, and I love that. And I love the idea that the symbiote itself isn't necessarily evil. 
it amplifies the host's feelings. But I like the idea that it doesn't only push the, the negative stuff. Because earlier in PS5, you see Harry feeling good. And he has no negativity whatsoever. Even when talking about his, his mother's passing, he's positive about it. And the symbiote is pushing that positivity and that enthusiasm. And I think that's fucking dope. And I, I, I use that in my, in my like little set of movies. But back to the main issue... I don't know how the fuck to use Venom, and according to Reddit, nobody there can, and then according to the internet, people who write for Venom in movies, comics, shows, nobody knows how anymore, and even the old stuff is a little confusing, because it, most of the old stuff is comic books, and comic books don't really have straight path storytelling, because like, the initial Venom run, that Venom becomes a lethal protector Venom, that, that Venom becomes a, a like, anti-hero. And I'm, like, not... I don't dislike that. I really like that original run. And I love that famous... um, The famous thing of him, like, crashing. I think it's through a window. And he's got, like, webs around him. And, like, the giant mouth is open. And it has, like, the... I'm the lethal protector thing. And the word lethal protector is black. And it has, like, a red outline. I think a lot of people have seen that. But, um... Like, I like lethal protector venom. I just don't know if it's what I want yet. But, like... You can go back 5, 10, 15 years and not find people... You'll find people that still don't know how to fucking use Venom. He's been around for fucking decades and nobody knows how to use him. You can jump back 20 years, 25, and people just don't know what the fuck they're doing. So I, I feel bad that I can't figure it out, but I can't feel too bad because other people also apparently don't know how the fuck to do it, including the people who get paid to do it. And it's their job. Um, I'm going to round this off with saying thank you for listening to my rant. Um, I don't have too much else to say. I just am bugging because I'm writing the Spider-Man shit. And I can't, I can't figure out how the fuck to use Venom. Like, I, I, I know how to use him as a villain. And I know how to use him as this terrifying thing. And I know how to make him scare the people in Peter's life and fuck with Peter and destroy his life and da 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 But I can't figure out how to get rid of him. I feel like it would be very difficult to lock him up because if he gets locked up then you, like if he's locked up the whole thing of like where's the symbiote? Is it gonna get back to him? Da 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 da. So I don't know. What if he leaves for another city? I don't know. That would lead to like the Venom being an anti-hero thing again. It's kind of not what I want. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know. I can't figure it out. If you guys have any ideas, please put them down there. I need them. <laughs> if you got ideas on how to use Venom more, how to make him scary. If you got ideas on how to get rid of him. If you have ideas on how to build to something. Anything at all. I appreciate it and drop the drop the things down there guys. What the fuck? Anyways, I'm gonna fucking leave you guys alone and let, 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 let y'all do it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss you, Bubba. I'm gonna kiss you on your fat mouth. Put my lips up against you. <laughs>